Encyclopedia of Card Tricks book that I read in a long time ago. That's just a paperback book that you can probably still get at a regular old bookstore. Anyway, the spectator has shuffled, given you half the deck. They've taken half the deck. You put it behind your back to explain what to do. And they put and tell them to do the same thing. And you're going to do some sneaky things from behind your back. And I know what you're saying. If you're a real magician, why would you have to hide it behind your back? And I don't. I can do it right out in front and I'll never see it. But I've wasted countless hours becoming a slide of hand magician. You haven't done that. So we do it behind the back, which is great because you're telling them to do the same thing behind their back. What you're going to do that's sneaky is you're going to reverse the, the card next to the top. And you're going to reverse the card on the bottom. When you're given the cards from them and you put them behind your back and you tell them to remember a card, to, uh, while you're telling them, you take the bottom card and roll it over face up on the top. Then you, you tell them to remember a card and you demonstrate by bringing a, the bottom card out from behind your back. You look at it, doesn't matter what it is, this is all behind your back, and then you put it face down on the card that you just rolled over from the bottom. And then you do one other thing, now keep your arms tight to your side so it doesn't look like you're manipulating too much, but they should be at this point bringing a card out and looking at it and remembering it. And while they're doing that, being as still as possible, you rotate the bottom card. So what you've done is uh, turn over the next to top and the bottom. Now there's multiple ways to do this. 
That is just to me one of the simpler ways. You put it behind your back and as you're doing it, you just rotate this over really quickly. And then you give, you say, memorize the card, any, pull any card out and memorize it. And you just pull one off the bottom and look at it, doesn't matter what it is, put it back on top. So you're set on top. The only thing left to do is pull out and turn over the bottom card quietly and as still as possible. So you're in that position. Face down, face up, second from top, and face down, face up on bottom. Now they remember a card. They can pull anyone out. We'll say they pulled this one out, and it is the King of Hearts. Good card. So they remember the King of Hearts. They put it face down on the top of their pile. Face down on the top of their pile. And then you, they bring the cards back around and hold them in front of themselves. And I'm just going to say this is their cards. Their King of Hearts is right there. You have prepared your deck, so in this case, just by luck, the King of Diamonds, there will be any cards reversed next to the on the bottom. Doesn't matter what these are. And when I put this back on top, I've already marked their selection. We've already found their card by putting a reverse card on top of it. But in this case, I'll say, you're the magician. I'm not touching them. You put the whole deck behind your back. Now leave them face down behind your back. Hold them firmly. You want to make sure they take their time. They don't drop the deck or they don't get confused. You have to explain things very well. So then you first thing you do is lie, which you get to do as an entertainer. Only when you're in pain, of course. <laughs> so you tell them, look, I looked at the top card when I was demonstrating to you what to do. I don't want you to be suspicious of me, so take off that top card and just put it on the bottom. And of course, what they don't know is when they take that top card off and put it on the bottom, now is a face-up random card. They think this card's face down. They have no clue it's behind their back. They can't see. It is important that people aren't standing behind them. I've done this with large groups. I just kind of position them in a certain place and tell everybody else, that, you know, make an excuse. That way the other people can see. You know, like put them with their back to the wall where nobody can see behind them. Anyhow, so now they have a face-up card and they don't know it. I tell them, now take the current face-up card, turn it face down and stick it somewhere in the middle of the deck. Now what they are doing is losing the card. But, but they supposedly, I'm, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't say turn it face down. I tell them turn it face up. They are turning it face down because they don't know it's already face up. So I take, the, take that card, turn it face down, stick it, turn it face up, stick it somewhere in the middle of the deck. And uh, be sure you say face up or you will be telling them how the trick works. Okay. So they turn it face up in their mind, really turning it face down. They stick it in the middle of the deck and uh, it doesn't matter where it goes because you've already found their card right below that and, and it's the, of course the King of Hearts. Now here's what I do always before I look at it. I go, okay, just I'm not going to touch it. You're the magician. I have them spread it in their own hands. They might not be very good at that because they probably might not handle cards much. But anyway, then they come to the reverse card. Oh, 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 wait, there's the one you reversed and stuck in the middle. And then I ask them first, now what was the card that you're thinking of? And the reason I ask them first, I pull it out and look at it, if they say something else, if they say like the uh, Queen of Clubs, I pull it out and I look at it and I see it's, if I see that it's not the Queen of Clubs, I know that one thing has happened. The card that was face up on top, they turned face down, they stuck it right in between their, my, my marker and their card. So I know the next card has to be their card. That's a possibility because they're sticking it somewhere in the middle of the deck, so that will probably happen around one out of every dozen times or so. But anyway, we're going to first, I'll get back to that. We're going to say what they did was, in most cases, their card is there, they, they buried the card somewhere, it's just lost somewhere in the deck. So when they tell me, I said, what was your card? They say, King of Hearts. I look, I see it is the King of Hearts. I say, wow, you're amazing. You're a magician. Did you even know that? Or, you know, give her a big hand or whatever. So back to if, if this is not the card, I know that's the very next card. But as long as they did everything right, and I know that they accidentally shoved their marker card, the one that was faced up in between the two. So I take a look at it. It's wrong. I say, you know what? It's a, you missed, but you're a beginner. You only missed by one. 
and I pull the next one out and show them it's really the next one. So I blame it on them. I say, you're a beginner, but you're getting it. You only missed by one. So it's funny. It's even kind of, in a way, better that way. Okay.